the people of the people of the people of faith, to you, from all your friends, that you enjoy the game tonight. Keep us all welcome. Between the Nottingham Panthers and the Coventry Blaze, there's going to be a couple of different voices coming at you today as regular play-by-play -play commentator James Brandon is a, has a night off and normal colour commentator Dan Green has got his pads back on his backing up Will Curlin tonight so you're joined by myself Dan Kerry and Kevin Carr who's unfortunately not playing. Kevin this really is the worst seat in the house isn't it? Yes it is that's for sure. <laughs> Especially under the circumstances, but uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, and when it is these circumstances, like you say, the other playoff running every point mattering at this point for those standings, it's hard to watch, isn't it? It definitely is hard to watch. It's uh, never a good feeling. Um, I wish my teammates the best of luck tonight. And, uh, you know, we're just coming out for another two points. And did you speak to him after that game at all? Give him any tips? Uh, I, I spoke to him after the game. I, I didn't really give him any tips. Oh, breakaway for Coventry. Here comes Larkin and one-on-one -on -one with Curlin. And Coventry take the lead. On a break. It's a bit of an interesting play. The blue line there, Kevin. Yeah, that puck needs to get deep. Uh, we've talked about it all year. It's a tough first shot to have on net. It's just almost a shame there was just that one breakdown. <laughs> kind of ruined a good start. For sure. Here comes Sean Richards down the left wing. Richards skates in on Mark. What a goal by Sean Richards. What a finish. Skates in down the left wing, beats Mott high, and this game is all tied up one to one. That was a he's coming alive, Kevin. Sean. Excellent speed there by Sean. Great pass. And what a shot. Picks a corner. He said that speed almost pushed Mott back into the goal, didn't it? Like, you know, you. You want to stay aggressive as a netminder, if you've told me before. Matthew Tuzignon taking the place of Kevin Demeng for this shift. Here come Coventry through into the neutral zone. Nice defensive play there by Kelsall and Norris. And here comes Norris with Tuzignon. Norris brings Tuzignon. Come on, Tuzignon. What yeah. a goal by Matthew Tuzignon! He's going to bring this crowd to his feet. He's been, he's been gagging for a goal lately. Yeah. And he's going to love that. Look at him go. You can't help but smile when Tuesday scores, can you, Kevin? Oh, that's awesome. He, he's a great guy, great team player. Hasn't produced as much as he'd like this year, but that's an excellent goal from him and a big one to get the Panthers back up top. Back below the goal line, back up to Venus. Switch way to Clements, here comes Kelso. Kelso and Myers breaking 2 on 0. Kelso. Jordan Kelso makes it 3 1 Nottingham. Uses Matthew Myers as a decoy and slips it low past CJ Mott and Nottingham now lead 3 to 1. Another great play by Jordan Kelso. Excellent play. Great play in the defensive zone, like you said. Myers and Kelso. Kelso freezes him, slipped it through five hole. What a goal. How hard is that situation when you have two forwards bearing down on you? Yeah, you got to be aware of every option. One time was whiffed on. Here comes Brady Not. Bray Noish can't quite clear the zone. Nottingham and Blood off makes it 3 2 just as Bellagion comes out the box. It's been another problem all year, hasn't it, Kevin? Clearing the zone. That's been something we've struggled with. You can't, like I said before, you can't get too high, you can't get too low. Great steal just... by Boivan. They skate down this left wing. Coventry do recover well, though. He lays it off for Welsh. Skate around to Hedberg. What a goal! Edwin Hedberg. What a play from Jeremy Welsh. All started with Christoph Boivan, but we were talking about Eddie earlier, Kevin. Eddie is flying. He is flying. That's a great goal by Eddie. A big one for the Panthers. Excellent pass by Jeremy Welsh there. And we mentioned about Jeremy being high risk, high reward. As a creator, there's no one quite like him in this team, is there? It, when Jeremy's on, this team runs through Jeremy. He's a very smart player. Highly skilled as well. Has good vision. Coventry with Larkin in and Curran, two on one. Great soul, almost a fantastic save by Curlin, but the puck squeaks in and Curran brings Coventry back within a goal. And that's just another one of those moments we're talking about not giving up those up man rushes, Kevin. It's unfortunately another one there. It's Welsh, Panthers in the offensive zone. It's back to Norwich. 
Glaze cause a turnover again. It's Ferrara skates in on Curley. Great save by Curley again. But Penny's on hand to tap in the rebound. That's two goals and I think less than a minute for Coventry. And now we're at 4-4. Clemens shoots, saved by Curlin. And Coventry pick up the rebound and tap it in. I think that was Curran. I think it's his second goal of the game. And now Coventry find themselves back in the lead. With just over five minutes gone in the second period. Robbie Baiagio and Matt Lane streaking through the centre. Matt Lane... Can't get the shot off. It's Brassard, go! JC Brassard! Pulled. The officials have waved it off a man in the crease. I think we're going to have to take a look at this. Fans not happy, Seven. Are we going to have a video review? I think it's going to be coach's call if we do. Now Conti. For sure. He's had a lot of great opportunities and none just like a routine save for him. So we're happy to see him do well. Oh, and Coventry do score. Big screen there. Blood off makes it 6-4 in favor of the Coventry Blaze. Halbert again. Hamannick. Ferrara. Nice play by Coventry. Nice passing. And they make it 7 4. It's a nice finish from Penny. It's a nice setup through the neutral zone there. And Christophe Poivin, one of the hardest working players in this Panthers team. Massey gets down. Halbert gets around Massey. Coventry can't finish, and they do the second, third opportunity. And I think that is Chalk. He makes it 8 4 to the Blaze. Now Blaze can break two on one, three on one. Odd man rush for the Blaze. And they hit the back of the net. They make it 9-4. Cook, the scorer. Just as they return to full strength. So it'll be interesting to see if that takes one of the power plays off the board. Good play by Brassard. Clements on the half wall. And Coventry make it 10 to 4 on the power play. Curran, I think. And Boivin will skate with this one and chip it in. I think Coventry will keep this happily in their defensive zone and record the two Premier Sports Elite League points on offer. And I don't think there's any way to put it, Kevin. It's a, a night to forget.